dear members of white army we have started a new series of sessions called ask anything academical yes the university exams are coming up uh, uh, pg entrance exams are coming up so in order to prepare our members in a better manner and to help them uh, whatever the best possible uh, we have arranged this series of sessions by the experts a uh, subject wise sessions actually uh, starting uh, with uh, uh, preventive and uh, social medicine today so as mentor we have our own uh, mentor of white army professor tilak sura sir yes uh, he has been the backbone of uh, white army since the beginning uh, is my per personally is my teacher too at bangalore medical college uh, when i was a uh, ug after that uh, after the, uh, he was working in uh, kerala and presently he is working as a professor and head of the department of community medicine in uh, vishwabharti medical college karnool and uh, very passionate teacher and always uh, keen to help others and to guide others so we can uh, i didn't think of any better mentor than him uh, when i started uh, of uh, when when i thought about uh, starting this uh, session actually uh, welcome to you sir uh, tilak sir and uh, thanks for joining us thank you it's like uh, coming back to home yes sir it's been long time <laughs> yeah yeah actually, really thank you so much my daughter and all. yeah yeah so after so many days i am coming back to white army yes sir yes sir. yes sir. i thankful for the opportunity yeah. shall we start thank you sir sir uh, all almost all your videos all the case presentations everything recorded and all time available in uh, youtube so students are repeatedly revive like yes, referring those videos so that's yeah. the advantage uh, all these sessions will be permanently Actually, recorded and they i got the feedback in the kerala also i got feedback in the present college also people who are doing internship now that batch was almost got affected with the covid and all so they were telling uh, saw so many videos in white army then they were sir are you are you there in were you there in white army because they saw me first time personal no they were asking sir did you take any class in the white army yes I'm part of the white army like that yeah, so many yeah. people gave feedback also yeah yeah and uh, one more surprise for you that uh, your colleague and uh, my uh, another mentor uh, dr shivraj bm sir also joined the session so he'll also be there with us Uh, to help shivraj sir are you there is a hod of uh, community medicine at uh, chikmagalur newly started chikmagalur medical college shivraj sir are you there one second i will shivraj sir now you can unmute yourself unmute yourself you can turn your video also yeah yes kishan how it feels like to see your uh, friend tilak sir Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> i am very happy for him yeah so you also be with us sir uh, shura sir if possible for this session so yeah. let's start uh, with the first question that is uh, sir the basically this session aims at uh, helping the students to prepare uh, better for the university exams upcoming university exams so uh, uh, supposedly i have not prepared well so far now there is one or two months uh, left behind uh, for the examinations so what should be the strategy of any third year uh, medical student to prepare for the subject see sir how to study community medicine during the during the exam time i always tell start with the small talk okay so if you go to the part textbook index page where the contents page is there so there in the first page almost all the paper all the things are in community medicine go to second page there to start with uh, social sciences sociology then environment and health small small chapters are there environment and health like uh, water then uh, uh, uh sewage treatment plant sewage treatment then uh, disposal disposal of waste then uh, uh, entomology these things are very very important for a bio purpose also as as, as always uh, uh, along with the dairy purpose also and after that they are having disaster management occupation genetics and health mental health all these things are very Uh, approximately 20 pages maximum 20 pages maximum but definitely five mark question will minimum five mark question they will get okay. okay so so when you see the bulk of the uh, community covid syllabus it's around uh, approximately around 300 to 350 pages is there in that uh, approximately they will get if they study for 300 to 350 pages they may get to 220 marks or 25 marks maximum 
Okay. It doesn't mean that you have to skip community medicine. Then. Because when you have to study for community medicine, you have to uh, remember one thing is because, for example, uh, uh, something called different tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, they cannot escape from that tuberculosis. Yes, sir. You have to read everything about the and same way for the leprosy also. and HIV AIDS. Yeah. Apart from these things, if you go to small, small th- like measles and all, measles, people will get stuck with the studying about the agent, host and environment. They only deal with that. The, by the time they reach the treatment, they'll not able to go to that part. So what they will do? So, okay, I don't know, I don't know. Like, they remember one or the other way from uh, second year in microbiology, in yes. pathology, they would have read something about the and they will be posted in the medicine and surgery also in the period is also in the meanwhile the second year and third year also they would have got to expose something to the community medicine okay so instead of just spending so much time on community medicine what they can do is in the each community medicine focus on the we always talk about epidemiological triad in community medicine epidemiological triad right like, age, 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 like most of transmission incubation period then how the disease spreads then go to the management part. That much if they are able to read fast and fast fast, so they can finish communication so easily. And I always suggest when they are reading, for example, they are reading TB, tuberculosis they are reading. Simultaneously they finish the, the uh, corresponding national program with them. Okay. So that there will be flow, so there will be flow to finish the subject. For example, if I read tuberculosis today, and if I read tomorrow the National Tuberculosis Elimination Program, there will be. If I don't read, if I start reading today TV and after uh, 15 days I read in TP, everything looks again uh, new to me. So if you read in a flow program and communicable disease which is attached to that, so you can easily finish the in a single book. But that is the one thing. Okay, what they have to do? So first, uh, strategies on the smaller topics like. As a occupational health, disaster management, hospital waste management, mental health, genetics and health, then health communication uh, and uh, health information and health information, and lastly, primary health care and uh, international health okay, and social science and environmental health. These topics they have to read because these small, small topics definitely they will get minimum five marks from the subject, from the uh, those the topics. So they can finish all those things in a single, means uh, they can give priority for first, first. Then there is no excuse. There is no excuse to leave out the uh, chapter second, third, and fourth in the part test. That is concept of health and disease, epidemiology, where it includes uh, epidemiology study designs, then uh, uh, definitions of epidemiology, uh, what is epidemic, what is a pandemic, what is uh, endemic, then what is quarantine, what is isolation, then uh, outbreak, immunization outbreak, hmm? then about the uh, RCT, all these things are very, very important. These, these are must know in community medicine. Okay. And next chapter four is training. So uh, next one is uh, screening. So this second chapter, third chapter, and fourth chapter, they, they, they cannot say, uh, I have not read. Uh, Okay, only important points they can read. No, there is, there is no alternate. There is no go with that. Because unless you don't know the definition of definition of health, you cannot pass the community. And if you don't know that different type of study designs, it's very difficult to pass the community. Okay. So I'm telling, so these first, second and fourth chapter, second, third and fourth chapter, you have to read. There is no excuse for that. After that, you are having community medicines. Community medicines choose wisely. Like in, if you go to... Uh, if it is respiratory infections, there are measles, very important, ARI, uh, then uh, TB. These things are must. Okay. Then come to the, uh, you have to choose important topics in communicable disease. Then go to the non communicable disease. Okay. In non communicable disease, what is there? If you see the, uh, most of the things uh, are interrelated. For example, risk factors for the uh, diabetes is almost a risk factor for the hypertension. Risk factors for the hypertension is risk factor for the cardiovascular disease. Okay. So instead of reading everything individually, read it collectively. What I mean is that, so you make sure that what are the common risk factors is there for all the, okay, like we know in non-communicable, we talk about non-modified risk factors, modified risk factors. 
in unmodified risk factors like age, sex, age. and uh, genetics and and uh, uh, gen hereditary and also uh, ethnicity it cannot be changed so for each disease this of almost fixed okay next one is modified risk factor modified risk factors most of the things are related to lifestyle modifications like sedentary lifestyle uh, diet modifications all those things so whatever there in textbook is in part is what is what they've done is for, for some diseases they mentioned uh, risk factors like modified risk factors non modified risk factors in some diseases they have not mentioned as modified risk factors non modified risk factors so forget about everything you make your own risk factors for all the diseases like including from cvd uh, obesity diabetes hypertension uh, then uh, see, uh, uh, cancer make it okay so then what you can do uh, so it is more most of it for example uh, diabetes what are the modified risk factors what are the non modified risk factors and then make a note for the uh, hypertension what are the modified risk factors what are the so if you see the common things almost everything is almost almost all the diseases it's almost common what is extra for that for example if you talking about hypertension you only should know about more about the heart intake and tobacco okay two extra things so those things you keep on keep in your mind apart from that, everything will be same so instead of making reading separately all the diseases in the in non communicable diseases you study it as a single entity then it will be very easy to finish up the non communicable chapter entirely in in one or two days okay so then uh, uh, then comes a program as i mentioned programs try to read the program with the uh, individual chart uh, individual community medicines now next important point is uh, when it comes to the uh, paper 2 or paper 1 is mother and child health. okay so mother and child health. so so many students will ask me always so how to remember program there are so many program uh, objectives and all how to try to remember okay so what i always suggest is when it comes to mother and child health you try to remember in the cycle there is one cycle so either you remember from pregnant mother or from the baby so uh, for me it's always easy to remember like from pregnant mother i i always used to remember from pregnant mother so what i used to remember so what any program i start with pregnant lady whatever order they give in the textbook i try to remember it in the order of pregnant lady so pregnant lady she she pregnant she is uh, now preparing for the delivery she delivered once she delivers she becomes postnatal to the mother along with the child infant once infant is there so you have to deal with the mother and child both okay so imagine the child which is born as a girl child okay now you have to take care of the girl child so now mother pregnant mother was there she became she delivered the baby baby was girl child then you think about the ma, lactating mother and the uh, other things then you think about the girl child infant okay first one year you take care of the baby then then first five year then becomes she becomes adolescent girl she again become uh, women she get married she became okay the cycle has completed so remember the things in mother and child mm-hmm. things in this order this order so pregnant lady delivery then lactating mother then uh, infant born uh, newborn child infant underfed child then adolescent girl ma- adult woman then marriage again pregnant that cycle so if you remember the things in this order you will not miss many things in the mother and child health. okay so this is the i this is how i suggest to read the community okay uh, sure you want yes sir uh, and uh, probably with the audio program. sir program yeah audio yes sir um, it's not audible proper audible, audible sir uh, network place not clear one minute one minute no i am using my idu headphone use maartta idine wait meanwhile shiva sir can contribute something shiva sir Shura sir, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Can you switch on your uh, video as well? Yeah. Uh, Good evening. Can you hear me? 
Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how is the quality, audio quality? Yeah, good, sir. Good. Please. Yeah. Actually, for community medicine, uh, if you read, uh, as uh, Thilak said, uh, concept of health and disease and uh, epidemiology, you can apply that concept in all the other chapters, communicable, non-communicable, and management of most, uh, most of the programs. And, and also some basic uh, topics like uh, nutrition, MCH, national programs, that you have to get updates from the recent uh, uh, programs. Okay, uh, book is two year old. After two years, there'll be many updates regarding some immunization, everything. So that that chap, uh, parts you can get updated. So, but is it can... important for the university exam only for uh, neat entrance some... exam? No, for no. no some exam questions... Yeah, some questions they might might ask for recent advances. Oh, okay. so they might miss some uh, ten or fifteen marks questions. Total okay. in for two two papers or during viva also they may ask. Okay. What are the recent uh, changes? Where to refer for that, sir? Yeah, uh, the, the the teachers will tell their department like recent changes in immunization schedule, something they have added to JE uh, for ninth month and all like that. They will uh, one or question one or two question they might get during their viva or during the paper also. Okay. So if if you are not read. The, if you have not read any topics in the last document, if you read concept of health, like what are the management aspects, primary prevention, secondary prevention, tertiary, like that same thing, and that headings only, we can uh, apply that and uh, uh, involve that individual system, like respiratory system or any vector bond diseases, same thing, integrated vector control, like that you can add. This is for nth moment preparation. Otherwise, you have to be thorough in second and third chapter and also uh, major diseases like tuberculosis and uh, MCH problems, pediatrics, HIV, all those things and uh, recent changes. So that will be useful for uh, getting good marks. Usually you may get around 70% in theory and also uh, exam practical exam pattern is very easy where, uh, unless you make blunder. You're muted, muted, sir. Sure, sir. You're muted. Yeah, can you unmute, please? It's very difficult to fail in community medicine. Okay. You can apply uh, your first three chapters in various other uh, issues, topics. Okay. <clears throat> Sir, again, someone asking where, which website or which book to refer for uh, recent uh, updates. Uh, uh, they yeah. can go can for I, website National Institute of Health and Family Welfare. MHFW or MOHFW, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. There they will be giving uh, various uh, various settings, they will give recent updates also. You need not read in depth. And also there are uh, programs, national health programs, uh, books in your library that also they can refer. Or during your uh, uh, seminar topics, they might have given during your seventh term or sixth term. That time, those who have done proper uh, seminar, no, they, those uh, materials can be very handy during exam time. They have to share with their uh, batchmates. Uh, okay. So, okay. thing is... Uh, along, with, along with that, I will add one. Yeah. Okay, can, I, can I come in? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, audio. Can you please check? Audio? Yeah. Am I audible now? Yeah, you are audible. Uh, Shura, sir, is it okay? Clear? clear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So actually, uh, along with that, uh, as uh, Shura sir mentioned, you can uh, see the, uh, just nowadays, no need to go to the website also. For example, I want to just uh, uh, see about the, uh, for example, uh, there is a new program. Now, we usually used to call RMNCH Plus here. That has been changed. So just they can go and search in the Google also, they'll get the recent updates. Or we can go to National Health Mission website. National Health Mission. Under National Health Mission, all the program's details will be there. Okay. No, no, thing so, is that, sir, uh, sir what happens get, then? Easily get it in the as. No, no, mm. thing is that what happens is I may miss out some, I don't know which all new things have come up. Okay. So I want all the okay. recent ones in one place. Otherwise, what happens if if I know that there's some new update is there in the uh, MNC, then I may search accordingly. If I don't know. Yes, yes. Like learn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. There is, there is, there is one blog actually. Okay. There is okay. a blog. Huh? It's called yeah. I8PSM. Sorry, can you please tell again? 
i hate ps and there is one blog hmm. i hate hate h a t e hate i hate psm okay i hate psm okay I, okay i okay. hate ah <laughs> uh, i hate psm okay so the, the I, in that website also they made some flow charts good good very uh, uh, a very good uh, uh, flow charts and uh, some in, important concept wise uh, flow charts also they they have mentioned nowadays i uh, actually uh, recently i also saw i, I used to follow when i was studying uh, okay season for another two years i didn't follow but nowadays they are making the videos also recently when i saw they i focus okay, on the content yeah that is one one where they can see the reason okay. sir uh, one more problem we felt uh, as undergraduates is uh, matter of uh, revision okay yeah throughout the year we will read that uh, part of textbook yeah. and on the previous night or two days before the yes, exam yes. i am not able to completely revise the uh, book okay uh, that's the biggest problem all of us uh, yes, facing yes. so how can we uh, yeah. avoid these mm, problems yeah uh, yeah uh, i i will tell I mean to say what's the so effective the way of revising is, uh, revising yeah so what actually if the people are studying for first time in the exam there is no alternative okay. the people already at least done once one reading they can do while doing reading itself some people will make notes okay and they they're very fast in making the notes but uh, some people will read the textbook without underlining it also okay so if the people are keen to make the uh, this one uh, see in computer bits there are so many things okay at least no 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 sir sir sorry this. sorry so content yeah, is good yeah. but we are missing out some uh, things because of the network issues uh, tilak sir if you can uh, just okay wait 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 otherwise i'll go out and i'm switching off the video right and go no i switched off the video yeah yeah i'll just uh, yeah you have some network is problem i just by come now audible better i think yeah audible sir yeah, yeah. so what uh, actually they can do is uh for further question okay revision revision yeah sir Okay. So revision, what they can do is uh, while while reading really first reading itself, try to make the headings and subheadings for each topic. For example, uh, I am studying about the uh, disaster management. In disaster management, there are so many important things: is disaster cycle. Okay, so disaster cycle they can make. Along with that, they can uh, make the headings and subheadings for each uh, part of the disaster cycle. so that once they see for the revision that cycle along with the headings they are able to recollect it so almost all the students face the fear is oh, I, i don't know the content of these things but somehow subconsciously mind will be remembering the things if they read the first reading properly so what they can do is headings subheadings make this small small notes that's all first reading itself okay and some people will uh, make so much of uh, effort in putting notes and uh, during exam time they may not able to read the notes okay if such if if, if they if they're doing like that it's not useful so they're making use of notes itself then only they should make the notes otherwise they should not make it okay then the, otherwise they can use the uh, they can uh, underline the in textbook however they want because there is own textbook they can do whatever they want with the textbook okay and some people will use sticky notes and all they, they can do it and uh, Uh, some people uh, so i i want one more thing is is making the flow charts okay making the flow charts that is also a way, a way, a way help them to remember the things so what we should do is make the remember the stories uh, for example in uh, mother and child health, so uh, i used to make stories like okay one pregnant lady has come she is now irish pregnant woman so what i have to do how, how to take care of it like i should simple make i should make simple stories so as to remember things so no need to uh worry much about the uh, uh, uh how to remember thing of so if you, you our mind always remember the stories better so making stories not always important it is should be shared like mnemonics also we make right when you when you make mnemonics only and keep it with you it will not be useful so once you share with others and keep on repeating then only it will be useful same way if you make stories you repeat the stories with your friends 
your uh, friends and other other people then you will be able to easily remember so revision is like this so adding subheading adding subheading definitely you will remember something if you read the proper if you given the first reading properly definitely you can uh, remember something else some something in the uh, when you read the headings and subheadings that's how usually we used to do because in pg time and all we read four four papers right the same way is to face the problem so headings subheadings help helps a lot shurat sir you want to add something to that yeah Uh, same thing uh, headings subheadings and imp- key points in that keywords okay yeah, i should highlight it yeah uh, only those words no? because yeah. even i feel sir uh, examiner will be looking for only those keywords yeah. yes okay yes. not uh, see writing a sentence in a community medicine is not a big thing okay i am mm. the community medicine topper i know how to write okay what i used to do is sir uh, in park if you know the headings and said, uh, uh, subheadings more than enough okay because yes. that only makes up uh, some 15 20 points so you inside something you can fill up or you can make yes. some sentence and fill up but what the examiner will be looking is for the key words some technical words will be there that you need to highlight and during revision do or just go through those key words only okay so that in while writing also make sure that you write those key words in the beginning itself then you can frame how much your uh, uh, sentences you want uh, you may how much your paragraphs you want you can make but those key words and this like sir mentioned that the headings and subheadings need to be uh, clearly mentioned that's the way uh, to revise and uh, to write in the examination so next is uh, sir you already mentioned tilak sir in the beginning i want again please uh, enumerate the or the list out which are the most important topics uh, in a community medicine which uh, can't be missed at all for a, a exam uh, pre- uh, for preparation point of it. okay as i already mentioned uh, second chapter in the park textbook since uh, why i am giving the reference of park textbook is 90% of students read park textbook only yes That's sir the yes. reason why i am giving okay fine reference is park textbook it doesn't mean that the park is the only thing yeah okay. so first uh, the concept of concept of health and disease then uh, third chapter epidemiology then fourth chapter screening and disease okay then you have to read in communicable disease uh, tuberculosis uh, ari measles then uh, polio in uh, intestinal infection then uh, acquired diseases then uh, uh, there are uh, there is food poisoning chapter food poisoning chapter is not much important for a theory purpose but in viva and mcqs they will ask then um, we're having uh, surface infections like hiv tetanus then dog bite case rabies zoonosis uh, then uh, uh, malaria dengue uh, so these are all important chapters okay but doesn't mean that they have to read everything line by line because okay. in communicable disease as i already mentioned they read something in the in different uh, subjects like medicine surgery yeah, medicine yeah. obg surgery something they have read something somewhere. integrated yes so no need to spend so much of time there yeah mm-hmm. so they have to come out of that fast 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 read about the pre- in communicable medicine you only think about the prevention and control aspect preventive aspect okay exactly so in con- mm-hmm. preventive and control aspect if unless yes. you ro- if you don't know about that it uh, there is no uh, use of that right so you have to read about those things in the further particular chapter okay then as i mentioned small chapters coming from the social sciences and sociology then um, uh, environmental health each chapter is having small small bit like water then uh, environmental health chapters are having so many sections like water is there air wellness air uh, radiation all those things sir but what is important in that then uh, sewage treatment plant is important then uh, um, um entomology is important entomology is not entirely important uh, important uh, aspects like integrated vector management like how to control the mosquitoes and, and uh, there is one more thing called uh, rodent control in the that chapter because yeah, yeah. recently lepros- leptospirosis uh, outbreaks are there then uh, or rat bed fever can be there so for that how to prevent it so recent questions they have asked multiple times so rodent control is also very very important okay so apart from that small some topics are hospital waste management disaster management occupational health then uh, mental health genetics and health uh, international health health communication uh, health information to health information then uh, planning cycle oh planning cycle planning cycle is very very important okay so these are the must and they they should not uh, they should not uh, is, uh, skip it because they they hardly hardly 30 pages 30 pages yes. maximum i 
i think occupation is the only chapter they have 30 pages in this in the list what i gave all these are having 20 10 to 12 page 20, 10 pages so if they read 10 to 12 pages definitely they can, they can get the five marks in their pocket sure sir okay so the, so these are things they have to read and apart from that uh, primary health uh, primary health care okay what are the principles of primary health care and elements of primary health care and uh, uh, asha work job functions of the asha and uh, anm these are important things Shura, sir, you want to add something to yeah. that? Like uh, Zika virus, COVID, uh, and uh, disaster. Ah, no. that, yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, they can uh, read regarding uh, recent updates. One and or also, two questions will be there on this uh, COVID. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. and the health programs, uh, there will be new newer additions every year, at least, either at central level or state level. Mm-hmm. So that they have to add. Uh, that may, they may not be there in uh, textbooks. So, so that, that also they, are, they can get updates. Hmm. Mm. Uh, can can I can I add one yes, more thing? I forgot to add about the nutrition. Yeah, in nutrition, uh, don't uh, keep on reading about the deficiency of vitamin twelve, vitamin all those things because we have, we have read already almost in biochemistry. Okay, what is the important thing is uh, they already mentioned public health nutrition health problems of the public like public health nutrition problem like that. There is one heading in the job in the nutrition chapter. There we talk about vitamin A deficiency, low birth weight, uh, then. Um, uh, uh, uh lathyrism uh, then uh, yeah. B, uh, what is it kesari doll adulteration boa so all these things are and then identification disorders these are the important don't need to spend much time in the reading about the first uh, like uh, what is carbohydrate all those things so when it comes to protein they, they have to talk about how to assess the protein that is important protein assessment but okay another and, thing yeah yeah in nutrition sir there are so many values uh, yes, they need yes. to be remembered or <laughs> what to do sir no, in that, no need to remember all the values. See, uh, there is one table for regarding the energy. There is one energy uh, requirement for the sedentary male, sedentary female, the moderate worker, heavy worker, like that. There is one table that they have to remember. Then they have to remember the protein requirement for the each category for pregnant woman, then uh, lactating mother, and, uh, uh, and children less than 10 years. Apart from that, they have to only remember about the uh, Iron content, iron. Okay. Apart from that, see, it's an you only impossible to remember all the values. Yes, sir. Okay. So these these are a must. No, energy is must for uh, then. Yeah, you have to remember about the protein requirement for the this one for the each category. Then you have to remember the iron content. That's all. And one important thing you have to remember is they have to remember in the uh, this one is uh, difference between uh, breast milk, uh, cow milk, and buffalo milk. Okay. That can be asked in the exam. Okay. So apart from that, no need to remember the values. Because see, okay. even if you ask me what is the value of the... Because these values are required for the spotters, not for the theory purpose. Uh-huh. Okay. Sir, uh, one more thing what I felt personally is uh, so many national programs, sir. so many national programs, yes, yes. whatever yes, stories yes. you make, what, how much you integrate, uh, <laughs> it's a bit difficult only, sir. <laughs> so what do you feel is the best way to Oh, like study and remember them. So one thing I already mentioned, when you're studying, for example, I'm studying today TB. Okay. So once I finish TB chapter in the community policies, immediately go to the National Tobacco Invention Program. Okay. okay. So that there is continuity, you can finish it. And when you see that there are so many things will be there. Okay. The common mistake what we do as a student is keep the tables, keep the okay. flow charts. They okay, are the most not. important. Mm-hmm. Are they are the, because if you uh, see the flow chart and all, you, if you want to study some two, three pages, they're concise in single flow chart in one page. Mm-hmm. So tables and uh, flow charts don't keep in computer medicine. First of all, Oops. there are very less, uh, uh, less uh, diagrams in the computer medicine. So you should not uh, forget, you should not leave the diagrams, should not uh, leave the tables and the flow charts. Okay. Then uh, as uh, for Everybody will ask programs. Okay, programs. See, uh, main important thing is uh, at what are the services they're providing. Okay, what services they're providing, and why they started this program. These two things are very very important to remember. That's all. So the numbers and all you forget. Even if you forget, that's not that doesn't matter much. Okay. For example, I'll tell about uh, identification disorder pro control program. Okay. So what is the main purpose of that? Is to control the uh, and if you, I don't, I don't disorder. Correct. 
So the why it has been started? That is the reason. Then how do they do the services? That's all you remember. For example, when you come to mother and child health, if you uh, if you see the program switched in community medicine, most of it related to mother and child health. Okay, and if you see, for example, uh, I'll tell about RMC plus CM only. There is only five to five matrix. Okay, so in that five to five matrix, if you see what are services they give into the pregnant lady, what are services they are giving to the uh, during delivery, what are services they are giving after delivery, after what are services they are giving to the unit and infant. What are services they are giving to the okay? Uh, Make a table of adult yes. so like, yeah, like that's all. Simple services you remember. Yeah. That's all. So no need to mug up everything. So you I've seen uh, see some people some college they might have taken students to the Anganwadi centers. They might have taken to the PSCs. They might have seen some some things practically there. Okay, if they have gone there, definitely they will remember so many things easily. They can write it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the way to remember the programs. Okay. And mugging up will not help it. So try to correlate with the uh, visits and all. Then it is easy to remember. Understood. Uh, Shivrat sir, you have your own way. Yeah, don't read uh, older editions of textbooks because uh, if you read any twenty fourth, twenty third edition of uh, part now, you'll be having RNTCP. Now it is being changed, so you'll be reading that book only, and you'll be writing the same thing. So you should read. as much as possible recent text recent edition books okay that will help in uh, reading the uh, combating this one uh, health programs other things uh, um, what uh, can say is uh, you discuss with your uh, friends like make three or four uh, group so you will remember easily and uh, you need not remember everything i think i think if you discuss some five minutes daily what are the important uh, issues now uh, that easily you can recall during exam time that is also and also it helps during your case discussion also okay, okay. Oh, one point i want to add here why discussion is very very important okay so when you are making a discussion with your friends okay and you should have friends like common common minded friends okay it's not like always like you will be telling something they will be telling something else okay it should be common uh, common minded friends should be there and apart from when i am doing discussion it means that i am trying to recollect i am uttering the word and again reasoning it's happening three three things are happening okay i am able to recollect and my my mind is making making this to write in such a way that i'll write try to write the answer so that it the mind is already preparing the uh, structured answer in your mind when you're trying to discuss it okay that's why discussion is very very important as sir uh, sir mentioned during discussion every at least 5 to 10 minutes in a day when you go to a mess or when you go to uh, just for the uh, having coffee or tea in the cafeteria Okay, just you can go and discuss that what topic. For example, I read today about any disease. Okay, what is the important point? Just five minutes. That's all. And don't uh, spend too much of time in discussing and uh, make uh, waste of time. Okay. Double sword edge, sir. <laughs> Most of the discussions yes, end yes, up yes. in some. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that to time of like uh, football, FIFA, and all those things, it all end up there only. All the discussions yes, invariably yes. go to that uh, side. Yeah, I, actually, yeah. Since you mentioned this, I want to tell one important point for the students. We are. I always feel very, very lucky because when we are studying, there was no distraction for us, like smartphones and all. <laughs> for us, the main distraction was Nokia phone. That's all. <laughs> Nowadays, <laughs> no, 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 sir. Again, that no, no. is snake See, game. That's technology. <laughs> yeah. You can't be blamed, sir, because uh, they are definitely useful. But how we make use of that? That's what really matters. Yes, yes, that's right. Good enough, that's, sir. That's right. See, sir. Uh, no. What I think, sir. Yeah. we are all matured enough to understand what is good for us what is not necessary in the in that particular yes, point yes. of time still uh, that small brain 5% will be telling oh no no don't study it's okay relax uh, take a uh, time out yes. if you listen to that 5% of brain no then uh, yeah, gone. Yeah. yeah we have to listen to that so, 95% of our brain yeah which always says keep yes. the mobile away keep the distractions as uh, less as possible and uh, if you concentrate on books no it's possible sir it's possible Yes, and uh, so, that's, so that's what yes. what I'm what I'm trying to tell. Yeah. So the what they can do is they can follow some techniques, no? Like Pomodoro techniques, where they can sit for twenty five minutes continuously, yes, study, take five minutes break, yes. do some yes. sessions like four four to five Pomodoro technique session, then take long break. Then during long breaks also don't just take break, discuss with the friends. So that's why we at least for the At least for those one month, one and a half month, what where we preparing for the exam, we'll be involved with only for academics. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm not telling, and always I always suggest at least for half an hour you should play physically. 
not on mobile no. phone you should play physically for half an hour because then only endorphins in secreted in the mind in the body then you they feel elated and the drafting power will be very much high during after the come and playback from the uh, physical exercise with any any form of physical exercise running playing uh, badminton volleyball cricket whatever but not on mobile phone okay <laughs> this is very very important sir yeah you already mentioned yeah. about uh, some of them but still as a community medicine student uh, who want to excel uh, what are the common mistakes i'll be uh, invariably or unknowingly doing and uh, how to avoid them while studying or uh, while uh, while in, in the yeah. exam or in the viva or whatever it may be how yeah. do, what are the common mistakes done by students you are a seasoned examiner you have seen thousands of students so you know you feel always uh, and you are, this this should not have been done now it's a time for you to openly express that yeah so actually there are uh, three, three 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 things i'll tell one is uh, during preparation Uh, during exam writing then during viva so how okay. to handle that during preparation uh, as already sir mentioned i already you also asked making notes revision revision is very very important okay so making notes or headings subheadings and important keywords that is for the uh, this one for the preparation. preparation when it comes to writing writing exam so don't get panic with the question paper first okay when you see the question paper nowadays i i have seen in some universities what they are doing they give 10 minutes time for the uh, before writing so they will give 10 minutes before the question uh, before question paper okay to go through the question paper so uh-huh. what happen some people uh, by seeing so this question i don't know what will happen like panic, they get panic and okay, panic thought uh, yeah so what they forget about the question that oh, you don't know you can write at last okay what do you know you write first hmm. okay and also it can keep in your mind time time management hmm. okay time yeah. management very very <laughs> yeah. i have seen very i have seen some psm sir okay. if you know one yeah. answer if you keep on writing for hours <laughs> yes yes that is the problem so what yes. do you do so uh, uh, if there if, if there is short answers there are 10 short answers what you have to you have to make sure that you have to finish 10 short answers within 2 hours like that so 2 hours that's all so it's not more go more than that then remaining Uh, main question long essay one or two will, one two one or two will be there in the each university depend on what uh, pattern they are following so they can write the remaining in one hour uh, almost whatever minutes they have to write the remaining two questions okay so any extra 15 minutes should be there kept for any if uh, sometimes some questions cannot be finished in within that two hours okay so just that they should have that so while writing the question first thing time management then yeah. legibility legibility so don't make the examiner to difficult to find the answer mm-hmm. okay so oh, what do you do you have to make the examiner so easy that so will is they will give the marks easily so underline the things important point yeah. for example yeah. you writing a regarding the nutrition something so nutrition aflatoxin so aflatoxin means underline it so when you underline it in some university they allow to use different pens okay so they can use color pencils or color pens to underline the things they can use it yeah. and the flow charts wherever possible write the flow chart wherever possible write the diagram and diagrams means don't spend too much of time time in writing the diagram write diagram okay fast fast you have to write then uh, l- uh, gives little bit space between the lines okay mm-hmm. then uh, structure the answer properly as yeah. i already mentioned heading subheading subheading and content wise for that and keywords so that make the push, uh, make the answer uh very uh, very attractive so that exam so exam the marks so easy yeah okay so exam if you, if you make if you trouble the examiner you will get less marks that is the problem okay yes. so don't write paragraph paragraph mm. okay always write points don't write the paragraph okay then one more thing i forgot during uh, viva. about the I, i mentioned about the diagram right yeah oh, okay no no during the theory uh, i mentioned about the diagram right pro diagram pro charts and uh, where are possible to write small small diagrams cycles is that a cycle uh, planning planning management cycle so those where are possible to write the cycle thought okay then during viva so during viva what you to, so during viva you should be see sometimes when you may go for the topic where you may not read much well so, because there are only four examiners they will divide the topics among themselves so sometimes you may not able to perform very well in the one at one examiner don't get tricked to that okay i didn't perform well don't carry that into the remaining three examiners okay so it happens sometimes so you what you have to do listen to the question first properly 
listen to the question properly then answer slowly no need to hurry okay and if you don't know answer you try to say i don't know mm-hmm. okay or don't just bluff it so what happens is it it becomes very easy for the examiner to catch Hmm. uh whether you are telling genuine answer or bluffing it or getting confused or not confusing is different uh, bluffing is different. okay so the easily examiner can understand that okay so don't bluff if you don't know you can say sir i don't know or ma'am i don't know uh, but tell politely okay it's also very important telling politely is also important sometimes we with in exam tension without knowing we may tell in uh, very uh, harsh tone it may be not correct during exam time So tell very politely, ma'am. I don't know, ma'am. I don't, uh, sir. I don't know. Okay, then we'll go to the next question at least. Okay, this is important. Then listen to the question properly. Mm-hmm. Listen to the question properly, and then answer calmly. Okay, and answer to the question what they asked only, and don't tell too many questions, too many answers. Okay. Mm-hmm. For example, ask what are levels of prevention. You tell primordial, primary, secondary, tertiary. If they ask mm-hmm. for definition, then you tell level definition. You should not mm-hmm. say okay, primary level means. uh before is factors don't no, explain no too much yeah explain yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. they they're asking list list the levels of prevention yes. you should list that first don't need to uh, uh explain it uh, same thing applies to the exam sir well, okay one in theory writing i forgot mention sometimes what students will do oh, okay i read about disaster management very well okay i'll keep on writing the disaster management for five marks which almost for like 10 marks 15 marks i'll write so mm-hmm. examiner can give only five marks how much will you write yeah exam is five marks so they don't waste the time and write attempt attempt all the questions okay don't leave any questions blank attempt all the questions mm-hmm. because unless you write something for that particular question examiner mm-hmm. cannot give you any mark exactly okay so you, at least if you write one one or two sentences they can give at least half mark a quarter mm-hmm. mark they yes. can give if you leave it blank how can they give mark they can't give huh? that is the one thing that is the only suggestion i want to give regarding the exam uh i'll make it simp- simple for students uh, okay uh, i'll summarize whatever thirak sir has told one is time management he told second thing is uh, about the how to neatly to present time management i'll give a simple solution for you see you are uh, writing 100 marks in 180 minutes that is 3 hours so each ma- for 10 marks you will have 18 minutes time so keep a uh, approximately i'll uh, finish up the long uh, essay in uh, 20 minutes short essay for five marks i'll finish it in 10 minutes i have approximately 9 minutes like that if you have a time frame for each question this is not just for community medicine for all the uh, subject it holds good okay you should have for each question how much i can spend maximum time if you have the time frame if if you if you crossing that limit leave that leave a enough uh, page uh, gap and go to the next question at the end uh, after the three marks and all three markers if you have enough time left then you can come back and finish it off okay so otherwise what happens you'll be stuck in the first or second question itself and you may not be go till the last question okay so which you may know very well and you may not be able to attempt it all because of the time constraint so that's why sir was stressing more on time management that's the first thing second thing about the neat legible uh, presentation very very important your uh, handwriting need not be great okay or very beautiful if your presentation is very neat like a uh, very legibly written without much that strikes and all uh, that's very attractive and very impressive for the examiners more easier you make them uh, to correct easily you uh, get high scores also that's the simple logic behind it so uh, start the every uh, question in a new page okay and uh, 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 sir mentioned leave enough space in between write as many flow charts as possible that's a better way of presentation uh, think of some uh what's a neat way of so presentation that will help you sure sir you want to add something yeah uh, there is some principal paratos principle 80% okay. of problems can be solved with solving you uh, thinking about your 20% uh, efforts okay 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 so if you put your 20% proper effort now you can uh, solve your 80% of problems okay, okay. what okay. we said now uh, read about that concept of health and disease and epidemiology chapter okay. that account for about 20% of your whole park Hmm. If you read that properly, you can apply that to each and car, every corner of our park. Okay, for all things so that you have to read properly, discuss with your friends during your breaks. Uh, like what he said now, don't en- elongate that uh, breaks and uh, discuss and apply that uh, uh, chapters in your all the topics. Okay, and during exams, whatever you, the topics you know properly, you know that you uh, uh, write it in a very n- nice way. 
so that examiner examiner evaluators will get uh, attracted and they will give more marks and during uh, viva you have to be very confident don't blush don't beat around bush tell correctly and whatever you presenting now you should present it confidently that will uh, give good impression for the examiner okay yes sir uh, so finally uh, as concluding remarks uh, uh, i would like to ask uh, uh, tilak sir okay so we almost uh, discussed about the how to write the examination how to prepare what are the common mistakes to be avoided and all and uh, now sir as a teacher very student friendly and uh, very much willing to help your students what's your genuine advice for the, all the students at least for this one 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 month one and a half month you have to study correctly that is the only thing i suggest and make uh, make uh, time management properly if they learn to manage time very well during studying itself they can manage time very well during the exam okay spotlight so that is the thing i want to advise shivrat sir you want to tell something yeah you have to read from uh, park only don't get uh, deviated from you this one and uh, make uh, all the headings and uh, subheadings and you can make note of that that during your exam time you can read that only and important uh, points regarding each uh, sub notes that will help you a lot and also flow charts that will help you during your writing your exam presentation everything okay. so any any students want to ask uh, something you can directly ask sir okay now uh, or you can put it in the chat section or you can put in the youtube as well uh, i'll directly convey it to sir if you have any kind of uh, queries or uh, clarification regarding the subject or any particular topic if you have any doubt you can ask us now we have 10 more minutes time uh, meanwhile vijay do you have any questions to sir no particular questions uh... <clears throat> per se sir uh, but only one question is uh, like they already uh, sir has already told but uh, in bio statistics how much weighted should we give because that is a huge thing uh, for both theory as well as practicals so any particular uh, importance in any of that sir okay okay now very very good question balaji actually i forgot to mention the practical part Uh, see uh, in practical part uh, statistics part for theory purpose uh, they ask very less question but they were asked they were asked like uh, what are modes of standard tendency and uh, what is uh, normal normal distribution curve and what is difference between correlation regression and what is bar graph uh, like that they asked few questions they were asked okay but uh, if you look at the most chunk of the uh, they are, at least they should know basic things because that can be repeated in the uh, practical part in practical see in uh, for example if i what i know in most of south indian universities each uh, university will have uh, one such problem at least okay now since uh, all the cbm under cbm curriculum they mentioned that we can uh, uh, exam should be conducted for 100 marks i think uh, most of the universities have gone for a two uh, two statistical problem okay two statistical problem means there they can talk about uh, one uh, uh, as mentioned uh, uh means mean mode mean median mean median mode then standard deviation de- mean deviation all those things apart from that chi square test chi square test don't worry about the chi square test calculation part in theory okay uh don't worry about the calculation part of the standard deviation in the theory part okay but study those part in the practical part because so approximately you will be getting uh, some four or five problems in the practical exam out of 80 or 100 marks approximately 40 marks will be allotted for the exercises in the community medicine if i am talking about 100, 100 out of almost 40% of the marks will for the uh, problems uh, two epidemic exercises or two statistical exercises like totally combined approximately some five exercises will be there four or five depends on the university and out of that you are getting 40 marks out of 100 you are getting 40 marks means it's almost 40% you are almost passed almost passed the exam and since uh, approximately in each college there will be some 25 to 30 exercises okay and most of us 
since we came from science background and math background we'll be knowing how to calculate uh, very well so don't lose the marks easily in the practical exams and it is very easy to get the marks in the computer medicine through these exercises because if i make if i give a odd ratio problem to you and if you write it properly and everything is correct i cannot cut the marks there because if i write everything correctly i take you 10 out of 10 or 10 out of 9 sorry 9 out of 10 correct so like that you get maximum mark so calculation part you read during the practical part practical exam exam okay don't leave it and coming to spotters and all so depends on the uh, college and all spotters will be 5 or 10 so depends on the university that 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 take it in so that is part i suggest mainly important topics only important things to read in the for the theory calculation part you keep it for the practical part, practical exercise okay so anything else vijay thank you sir Shivra sir, you want to add anything on practical uh, preparations? Uh, sir, please switch on your videos if possible. Uh, it's uh, just audio; it doesn't make much sense. Uh, Tilak sir, also. Actually, in, in yeah. the case presentation, you will be having forty percent marks. No, uh, that uh, the, you people might have studied in uh, presented cases during your postings and all medicine, surgery, OBG. That will help you a lot during your presentation. so that you have to read main topics mch pediatrics then uh, diabetes all non communicable diseases and major uh, communicable diseases mainly tb ari and uh, all those things you, you learn how to present the cases okay that you might have done during your postings and also uh, you read main um, uh, important program related topics related to those uh, uh, cases and also uh, that uh, statistics problem and all They might have done you in your classes. Repeat them and uh, make sure that it's a maths. You will get an out of out marks. Okay. If you get if you are having eighty marks now, definitely you will get uh, more than seventy if you are done properly. So it is very difficult to fail in community medicine practicals. That is my experience. Yes, yeah. Uh, sir, concluding remarks. By any other questions, Vijay or anyone? so if no other questions so then uh, let's conclude this session before that sir tilak sir uh, anything you would like to say uh, uh actually uh, theory they have to study properly and practical part don't get confused with the theory and practical part this make make the differentiation properly and uh, time management write it legitimately legitimately and uh, make easy for the examiner to correct it so that you'll get maximum marks and write flow charts and diagrams wherever possible and uh, don't forget to read the tables in the uh, chapters and uh, write the points headings the headings underline it keywords and uh, that's all okay so don't get panic all the best okay so if you panic you lose the I already lost the battle okay don't get panic be brave write the uh, Write the on all the answers properly, and uh, don't leave any questions blank. Attend all the questions. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Shura, sir, your uh, words of wisdom, please. Yeah, as Tilak said, don't leave any questions unna without answering. So they will ca- carry at least minimum some marks. Okay, that will add to your total marks. Mm. One more thing: you be confident in uh, actually your presentation, and don't bluff. during your post presentations and uh, answering uh, you have to write specifically that will carry more marks and you in rghs they have kept each uh, for each question they have kept, kept some pages okay you yeah. do not put uh, many things so you you can plan that according to that pages so that you will be covering most of your uh, questions as per the needs of the marks okay mm-hmm. all the best for all of you no no some some students doesn't understand sir, how much to write what is the limit uh they think that whatever write dates may be less so they keep on no. writing writing okay. it is not so, possible in uh, as per uh, you know in rghs it is not possible yeah. for 10 marks limit. they are given uh, seven or eight pages you mm-hmm. can't write more than that mm-hmm. okay. uh and that will be like limiting factor so that they yeah. can control themselves okay. so in the 5 minutes what uh, get before that uh, starting that for initial 5 minutes 
when they get the question paper itself they should frame a, a mental picture yes for this question i'll be writing under these side headings so if i have a mental before starting the answer itself they should make a, a, a outline like what yes, order what subheading so that they will not miss out the important points uh, important topics or else what happens i have written seven pages and pages are over now now i yes. remember the most important uh, one uh, mm. uh, 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 subheading then there is no way they can complete it anyway so yeah. if you make a outline beforehand before starting and if you start writing accordingly then you can complete everything within that uh, time limit as well as the uh, that uh, page limit yes. yeah very nicely put sir very nicely put uh, uh, vijay anything from your experience you want to add sir i think uh, everything has been conveyed by the yeah yeah uh, professors i think much to add from my side sir only thing is uh, once we get the paper just 5 minutes we have to spend uh, thinking on how to write the paper i think that uh, that is useful in helping in formulating the answers instead of writing blindly yeah. i think extra from my side yeah uh, so this this session will be very helpful especially for yeah like uh, tilak sir uh, mentioned in the beginning this year is the first batch of cbme uh, students so they'll be a little perplexed so how it will be uh, how to uh, like see ultimately whatever the maybe the system the community medicine remains the same okay same topics and uh, uh, same content everything so if you are read it thoroughly if you put your hard work and if you are confident you can attempt any way or any pattern okay possible so don't worry about the systems or patterns they're not going to make much of difference okay only what really matters is how much you how much of hard work you have put in and how much you are prepared and how much confident you are on the day of examination that's what really matters tilak sir do you agree yes 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 okay uh, uh, it may be neat it may be next it may be usmle doesn't make much difference one who have read the textbooks thoroughly okay because ultimately uh, the content remains the same okay okay i, I want i just i wanted to add one more suggestion here actually i have seen some students uh, uh, what they are doing so i'm not against uh, what do you call uh, some entrance exam coaching apps are there right okay so they they are preparing there is we seeing the videos from there and trying to write the and uh, they are trying to write the theory part mm-hmm. okay so entrance exam preparation is different theory mm-hmm. exam preparation is different because the entrance exam preparation they only try to give the important points what is important mm-hmm. to how to identify that point okay if you only know about that you cannot write a 10 mark question a 15 mark question long essay question cannot write okay so if you're only relying on the that such apps mm-hmm. and you're not relying on much about textbook mm-hmm. then it will be difficult to score much mark yeah. i've seen some students in uh, pre finals or uh, the brilliant students they only get stuck with uh, uh, this such of apps and they could not write long essays they got stuck with that because they no cannot write well more than two pages or one pages they cannot write mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's what so point. it should be balanced Point well taken. Or you should not, text should textbook textbook is not uh, see textbook is not substitute. replaced by any other. Yeah, there is no substitute yeah. for the textbooks reading. And uh, yeah, uh, we all agree. Uh, even the teachers may all agree with me that uh, community medicine is a very vast and very volatile subject. Okay, you need to be uh, reading it regularly and revise repeatedly. Only then you will uh, remember the most of the things and you can uh, write. So it depends on you. how you will make it easier for your revisions like sir uh, said in the beginning there may be a big topic you concise it what are the re- most required things are there in that topic just by highlighting or making separate notes concise it as much as possible in such a way that the previous night of the exam you are able to uh, finish it that should be your the goal of your revi- uh, that uh, uh, for revision so with that uh, i would like to thank our uh, both the mentors dr tilak sura sir and uh, shivraj bm sir uh, for doing excellent work in the field and uh, also motivating their students uh, career guidance and building up new setups in new colleges uh, thank you very much uh, you have been supporting me and white army from the beginning always a source of motivation for me uh, both of you i am ever thankful and grateful to you both and all our members uh, who um, motivates me always to do more and better because of them only we are able to do all this uh, they keep asking me uh, so that we are able to arrange all these for them thank you so much once again uh, for your thank time you.
and valuable input sir thank you tilak sir shivraj sir and thank also you. thank vijay balaji for your it, it is our it, it's our pleasure it's our it's our pleasure it's our pleasure thank you yes. thank you for welcoming us. yes yes thank you thank you. bye 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 bye, bye.